Okay, we are here with something a little bit different than normal. Uh, something I've been wanting to do for, l well, actually a long time, long before I actually started YouTubing. Uh, kept trying, never actually finished it, and I figured now that I have people to keep me accountable and actually consistently playing games, maybe it's time to finally actually do this project. So, I have done a fair amount of seed hunting, and I have found this. It is not perfect, but it is very close to what I want. Uh, I've got a couple, I've got a potato shader. I think it's literally toaster. Shader pack for toasters. Uh, I did not want it to start raining right now, but whatever. Uh, so this is going to be a kind of unique survival series, and I'm going to put survival in big quotes here, because it will be survival, but I can gain materials by uh, twisting the arms of my sponsors, and you lot will be the sponsors. So everything will be in survival, except that I can use... Uh, like predetermined currency to buy shipments of materials to the island here uh, sponsored by my viewers basically so this first episode is kind of an episode zero because I'm not going to be doing anything with the series uh, we're going to be gaining sponsorship likes which I'll use to get materials for episode one proper but for now, we are going to be, well, we're in creative, and we are going to build the uh, kind of cargo ship that the supplies arrive on. Now, the only other thing I did in creative was I made some maps that are basically just the world untouched, because... There is a 0% chance that I would be able to explore this entire island without modifying anything in order to get a map like this in survival. It just would not happen, so I have this ultimate super zoomed out map, and then I have these four kinda zoomed out maps. And this is a pretty big island. It is about... Uh, I think it's almost a thousand blocks long and wide. It's it's pretty big. So we're going to build a cargo ship right here. I've decided that this is where the cargo ship goes. And so we're going to build it here-ish. So I'm going to start a time lapse and we will reconvene afterwards. I might put some commentary over the building. We'll, we'll, we'll see how it goes. This is new territory and a whole new island. So We'll, we'll jump into a time lapse, I'll fix the weather, and I will be back with you when we're a little bit closer to finishing. Okay, so I got so excited over starting the series that I completely forgot to explain even the basics of what I'm doing. So this is Mesozoia. It is a dinosaur... It's a dinosaur park. It's a dinosaur island, okay? I like dinosaurs. I'm gonna build a dinosaur island, damn it. Uh... Like I said before, I've been wanting to do this for a while. I started a couple times, but never actually finished. Uh, a couple times in creative, a couple times in, once again, pseudo-survival with a different set of rules. But the main takeaway is that it'll be a survival series where I can use kind of likes as currency to purchase things off the cargo ship here. Building materials, sand... Uh, you know, a couple more expensive things with higher amounts. And you will, you all will act as my investors. If you like the videos, you like it, you comment it, I get stuff. I, I get to build more stuff with likes and comments. It's, I don't know, I think it's an interesting way to encourage interaction and we all, we all get something out of it. The couple main things... I mean, that's mainly the main thing, but I want to, you know, build it, build a dinosaur resort. Maybe a bit of an amusement park. I've got, I've got plans. I took a look at the island. I didn't look too in-depth. I just 
soared over it to make sure that it was going to fit my purposes, and I think it does. I looked at a couple different islands. This one is really close to how I want it to be, and I've got a couple plans for how I want to lay things out. I've got a mod list. Most of them are pretty vanilla friendly, so it's nothing too crazy aside from the dinosaurs and other prehistoric animals. But the... Everything's more... It, nothing too crazy is being added here. I'll, I'll put... The mod list will be in the description. I don't need to go over it now. The main thing that you'll be able to do for me is you will uh, provide investment funds by liking the video, and you will be able eventually to provide more direct gifts via comments, although I still need to work out the balancing on that. I think I've got the likes pretty well balanced to how my videos usually perform. Again, this is a little bit out of left field, so maybe it'll underperform more, maybe it'll overperform, and I'll have to adjust it with inflation. But other than that, it will be completely survival, which means I have to deal with monsters and stuff. I have the remake of the Magnum Torch mod so that I can have... Lighting up this island would be an absolute nightmare without it, so I'm using the Magnum Torch mod, uh, which, which stops monsters from spawning within 64 blocks of it, which uh, I need. I need. Otherwise, lighting up anything in that forest would be a darn nightmare. Uh, I think that's mostly what I wanted to go over. I can't remember what I say in the outro after this. I probably should have looked at it, but it's 9 a.m. and I haven't slept yet. I am doing a real good job of uh, staying up late these days. So my first ever attempt at this kind of build was so, so, so many years ago, back when Fossils and Archaeology was on its 1.7.10 version, long time ago. I had created a world in World Painter, realized that Fossils didn't spawn it. Uh, it. It was a bit of a nightmare, but I built everything in creative with World Painter and with World Edit and all of that good stuff, but I quickly lost interest because there was no real challenge in that. I don't know how long this voice over actually is compared to the length of video I have to work with. It could be much shorter, it could be much longer. So we will find out. I am vastly unprepared again. It's 9 a.m. and I have not slept because I am very irresponsible. Don't take after me. All right, so that is a container ship built. Uh, I don't know if it's any better than the last one I built. I lost the world file a long time ago. I think it's definitely smaller, but I also underestimated how many containers I thought I would fit on there. I was only planning on having 20, and I think we have somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 40, so I underestimated how many I could fit on here. Uh, the other thing I didn't consider was that even if I made those maps, before I modified anything, uh, I didn't consider how I was going to place them in an item frame without updating them. This is 1.12.2, so I can't have locked maps. If anyone knows of a mod that does that, let me know. I'm very interested in it. Uh, so what I've done is it's mostly unmodified. There's just a little ship right there. But everything else completely untouched. Uh, aside from a couple dirt blocks I had to break to fit the ship in here. Honestly, th this ship cannot turn around in the space I've given it. However, we're just going to ignore the fact that it can't actually turn around. But yeah, there's a container ship. Now, I do need everyone's suggestions for company names. You know what, I hate this. I don't like that. I changed my mind. So, I need company names for these products, which are all the kinds of things that I can get on this cargo ship uh, by purchasing them with likes, basically. So, if you if you want to be a investor of this dinosaur park, which this is... 
I decided I was going to go back and voice over it, because I don't think I even mentioned once in the intro what it was I was actually doing other than building a cargo ship. I got a little too excited. Uh, if you want to become an investor, give me a company name idea for any of these products, and I'll pick my favorite, and you could be CEO of that company if I pick your name. Do a quick Google search to make sure that it's not a real company name, because I don't want to get into any legal trouble, alright? Alright, just one simple Google sh search, please. But, uh... Yeah, that, that's... I think this is definitely smaller than the last one I built, but... Honestly, it... If it were any bigger, it'd be even more unreasonable to think that it could turn around in this space. I mean, look at that. That's not gonna turn around. There's t no turning around in that. But the rule will be we can't use this as a base or anything. Uh, we can only be on this ship at the beginning of an episode when we are... Well, I don't know about the beginning of the episode, but we can only be on this ship when we are getting materials from it. Uh, I've avoided very carefully getting any items that would give me an achievement, except for one. I have Railcraft installed, and when I picked up the track, I got one achievement. I didn't know it was an achievement. I assume it's for the mod, so whoops. Not the end of the world, though. Uh, I also locked all of these. I don't know how to unlock them, so I can't use them as storage anyway. I, you know, this may be a survival, in quotation, playthrough, but I'm not intending on cheating with my rules. I even made this completely inaccessible. You can't even get in here. It's literally just set dressing. It's just set dressing. But yeah, that's gonna be it. From here on out, we're going to be completely in survival. Uh, I will add the redstone bits to give me the items I want. Well, I suppose... We may need to be on creative when we're in this boat, because otherwise I'd have to account for a lot of a lot of command blocks to give me very specific things. Yeah, that, that's too many command blocks. So we're we're it'll be survival except when we're on this boat. This is the creative boat. Uh, I'd call it the SS Creative. You know what? I'm gonna call it the SS Creative. You know what? I'm gonna do that. And it has been trying to rain this entire time. Well, I've been building this boat. Minecraft has this thing where if you tell it to stop raining, it'll listen for about five minutes and then do it again. But gosh, does this not look gorgeous in the rain. There is something a little bit amazing about being on a big old ship in the middle of a rainstorm. And it's actually thundering outside in real life as well, but... Oh, I've let it become night. Whoops. Trying to avoid that. Or maybe it's not night. Oh no, that was midday. It's just very dark. No, absolutely gorgeous in the rain here. And you can just see a little bit of light coming in from, uh... You know what? I should have put, put a caption in there, too. Ah. <laughs> Our captain is a paleontologist. That's fine. That will be the end of episode zero. Again, give me your company name suggestions in the comments. We will be building a complete you know, dinosaur zoo, dinosaur wildlife park, dinosaur themed park, and a probably less dinosaur themed vacation place with like close resorts. Island resort. Probably less dinosaur themed. But uh, that'll be it. I'm still bad at outros, so this'll be goodbye.